Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the round of 16 game 1 match between Jonesy and his Dark Elves up against Diomed with his Necromantic. Um, we've got Sweltering Heat, which obviously favours the team with 13 players. Diomed's build paying off instantly. And also Diomed won the toss, chose to receive to, you know, beat up the Dark Elves. I can tell you that Diomed is Russian, qualified through the Season 4 official playoffs. Jonesy is German and qualified through DBBL. Funnily enough, Diomed's team is called World of Rue BBL. Um, surprisingly enough, BBL standing for Blood Bowl League being quite a common um, suffix in a league name. So yeah, this is Diomed's build. He's got the four guard that you'd expect but he only has one wolf and two ghouls. That gives him a 13th player. It also makes the wolf critical to defend, but you know, he's, he's got two ghouls, which you know, more mobile with dodge and can do more things. So interesting, interesting. Where is Jonesy? What I don't, I don't like about Jonesy's build is he has a skillless witch elf only dodge and makes means that you almost can't hit with her right like she could have wrestle and then you could hit with her fantastically well but instead he's got tackle on the blitzer so i i honestly i think he's done well to get the round 16 with this build because that to me just seems wrong right just seems wrong to me to, to have tackle instead of a wrestle witch but he's obviously done fine he's got here he uh went one 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 and won Diomed's group in the group stage. So this is a rematch they've already played before in this tournament. And there you go, this is the best of two plus one format. Um, basically, if somebody wins and draws, they win the fixture. If it's a win each or two draws, then they'll go to a third game. That is true, he, but then he's, but he's receiving, right? He's receiving, so he doesn't have to do the ball. He's he's receiving, so he he deals with the ball this half, he goes one nil up, and then second half he just has to stop the Dells, doesn't he? So the fact that he's got thirteen players and he's more likely to beat up the uh Ls. Oh officious ref. Oh ho, ho. it is a lineman sent off for Jonesy. Instantly diced versus Diomed, not what you want. Yeah, I, would, I mean, I would, I would take even a block witch over a tackle elf. But I mean, if you're really worried about getting down blodgers, then you know, obviously double double wrestle witch elf is the obvious thing. It is higher variance, but they've got 13 players, isn't it? Yes, obviously downgrading a player to a uh, zombie is bad, but it's still better than just losing a player completely, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, it's still better than just completely losing a player. Um, Dells have got a lot of positionals just quietly. He's got four blitzers and three other positionals. So like, he's got a super high density of positionals that are just completely off the pitch. Right, like 120 TV is this guy. So it's it's definitely worse for the Dark Elves. The Heat. Well. It's definitely a worse kickoff result, right? Of course, it might, you know, they are prone to getting diced by it, yes. The Necro can get diced by it, but they're more, they're still more resilient to it overall, right? Like basically 90% of the time it's fine for the Necro. 90% of the time, 100% of the time, it's pretty bad for the Delves, right? 100% of the time, it's pretty bad for the Delves. 90% of the time, it's fine for the Necro. And 10% of the time, it's horrible for the Necro, right? Something like that. So it's still in, the odds are still in their favours. Well, it's, it's because it's protecting the Witch Elf as well, right? Like, the Witch Elf can't hit. This Witch Elf just can't hit. Which it's not really good having a witch elf, one of like the best players in the game, with a skill, not having a skill. Now she just can't hit. She just dodges around a bit. Might as well not have her at that point and have an extra reroll. 
to my mind. Um, Jonesy does have three rerolls thanks to the leader and an apple. And especially worse that he's just instantly been reduced to 10. That's absolutely brutal. Not what you need at all, the officious ref. And this is, I mean, this is, oh, I've, I've experienced a little bit of this matchup and it's, it's not nice for the Dells at all. Not nice at all. But, you know, they're elves. They can roll some dice. Diamond can make a mistake. Can have bad dice. I think Diamond has actually painted his team. Um, I don't know why he's chosen to make it look so... <laughs> so drab. <laughs> but he has made a really drab team. Whereas um, Jonesy's got these white with black diamonds. Mm. Blitz the zombie because that's the only player he could possibly blitz. Don't want to stick two people on the, like, or three people on the flesh even if you knock him down. Don't want to risk putting a guy in him and then failing foul appearance. You can't blitz this guy because you'll get surfed. So there's really only one player that the elves could blitz. Oh, we do get the hit with a wolf. Oh, and it's he's down to one reroll. Or he, or he just lets this off. Maybe he eats this and regrets not moving this zombie over here. does eat it. Armour is not broken. And that's a bit of a mistake, right? That he, he could have closed this co cage corner. Now, does Jonesy agree with my assessment of how horrendous this matchup is for him? And will he try for a, a ball sack? He does not, and he does not. I would have rolled all the dice in the world to go for the ball here, I think. <laughs> Diamond was actually really close to losing his wolf and his ghoul there, wasn't he? <laughs> that, that, that wolf could have, like, KO'd himself. And then the ghoul could have just been KO'd. And then he could have just been down at nine players. And, like, in a real, real terror situation. I mean, the wolf was a cage corner, wasn't it? He could have just moved this over. Gets away with it anyway, doesn't he? You know, he doesn't doesn't lose the wolf. And uh, now he can concentrate on the cage first. He just saw that the wolf could, could pick somebody off, right? And, like, he's going to go again to pick this one off. But this time he'll get the cage set first. Be be gangsters. Oh, gold stagger. There's no assassin, um, so guards around the ball completely defends him. I think he'll use the, this wraith to protect the wolf after he's blitzed. That's why he's leaving in like a worse spot right now. Because he doesn't know exactly where the wolf will be. Oh my goodness. Apple. Oh, it's not. It's not even. A, it's not even a. It's not even a badly hurt. So he doesn't apple it. 
And it is only a tackler, like it the tackle isn't so good in this matchup, right? It's only hitting the like this is the thing, right? The tackle's so narrow, right? It's only hitting these two ghouls if you hit these ghouls and you roll a particular result on the dice. Whereas Wrestle on the Witch is every time it gets hit, every time it hits, makes it better at sacking the ball versus like non dodge players. It just wrestle on a witch elf is so much better than tackle on a blitzer. That's my opinion. Like, far better. I don't say it's over, but... <laughs> this is really bad for Jonesy. And he doesn't just have the dodge in with an assassin to stab, right? Which isn't, it really isn't terrible. I, I am regretting not taking assassin a little bit. Oi, oi, oi. Hello, Dimmy. Dimbo Slice. This is game one. Yep, cap notes. <laughs> if you win, <laughs> if you win the tourney, we create a toggle. If only Dimmy. <laughs> Dimbo Baggins is pretty good. Oh wait, there is <laughs> No way <laughs> Um and if you're wondering Captain Oates, this is the round of sixteen. <laughs> It could be round game of 16-1, I guess. If you think of uh, don't op what don't dead open inside from uh, what's it called? Uh... Oh, that TV show that I used to watch. Walking Dead, wasn't it? Don't dead open inside. The cast is Jimmy Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Cosmigo. Yep, yeah, that's that's what that is in the corner there. Yep. Stretch a knife at you. Yeah. TWD. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Arbor Ter... Oh, my God. Ter Arbor Ter... Ter it's not Terrarian. It looks like it should be Terrarian, but it's not, is it? Arbiterian. Arbiterian. Okay, there we go. I can say that. <laughs> I'm almost there. The tournament is the world championship. It that does say that if there is there is a uh, there is a uh, logo there as well that says world championship. <laughs> Bought a spearhead. Do you have a spear to go with it, Dimmy? Yes, yeah, yeah, they've got the proper logo with it being an official competition. There we go. The championship. Look at that, I do coaching. There's a little advert there. Eventually, after this World Cup, I'll sort out my website that I've threatened to sort out for years. And then I can... Uh, I can have the testimonials. There'll be lots of testimonials of people saying how fantastic the coaching was. There you go. Playing Devo Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all at 19.30. And I can, uh, I can pin the thing that shows this information. If you bear with me.
Where hey? The Saturday may be wishful thinking. Yes, I mean, hopefully, of course, I'll just bang him out. Two games, easy wins, don't have to play a third. No penetration here from Diamed. Um, he's messed around a little bit. He's turned four. This is, this is not as deep as he'd like to be. There are only nine L's to stop him, but he really needs to start pushing at some point. Mickey Flanagan, he's pretty funny though, isn't he? He is pretty funny. You shouldn't miss that just to watch Blood Bowl BB Jock. Hehehe, <laughs> banter. <laughs> oh, glorious Geode Hammer, there you go. Four. I said hopefully that's what happens, Dimmy. It can happen. I've played some practice games where I've just randomly like KO'd a wolf and stuff. It happens, doesn't it? I mean, no, I rolled like nine and eight, but it can happen. You can do a little bit of banging. It's mad how like hard it is to blitz anybody against Necro. So much guard. But yeah, Diamond hasn't got the penetration. He does have two rerolls. To um to kind of force the issue a little bit, but this is this is actually tough. This is a good job from Jonesy defending. No, he's, he's going to drive down the side. This is hard for the elves to deal with, even with which elves of their own. Yeah, three two's not hard, is it? You've got to, you've got to try. You've got to try sometimes. Which elves? <laughs> These elves. Oh, these must be people from DBBL, right? And these are people from DBBL, maybe? World of I mean, RubyBL. These are, maybe these are people from RubyBL, and these are people from DBBL. They do look a little bit like the Necro plastic and the and the uh, the Dells are primed. Should we keep? Should we make them red and blue? That's a lot easier to see who's who. That's a lot easier. Let's go with this because they haven't. They're not exactly inspiring the paint jobs that they've given us. Okay, so he's giving himself like the handoff threat a little bit. Okay, not as much as I thought. Wait, uh, red and blue? <laughs> red and blue doesn't work like that, does it? Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Dimmy. God, you're such a prick. <laughs> Look, this is a little bit harder, isn't it? It is a little, like this, it's all the same. It's all pretty much the same colour. It's all very similar. It's a lot harder to pass than it is like this. This is a lot easier to pass than this. It just is. I'm sorry. It is.
Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is hard to mistake, but I'm not saying that I'm uh Thank you, Lyracian. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's it's hard to tell which is the Dark Elven thing. It's just at a glance, it's harder to, like, see who's on what. <laughs> Didn't realise you were looking at two different teams. <laughs> it does be GT. Yeah, it's, it's a bit sad, isn't it? There have been so few games on um, this week after, like, doing 32 plus four weeks in a row. Now there might just be 16 games. Not one game might go to the third game, right? It's possible. Only five out of 16 went to the third game. You'd imagine that'd go right with like, in the later rounds. But maybe not. Hmm. Don't know why he's gone further back. It's best of two plus one. It's best of two plus one Blood Bowl and Bobbers. So, if somebody wins and draws, they win. If it's two draws, they'll play a third. If it's a win for each side, they play a third. This was very dangerous of him, and some might say incorrect. I guess it's because the wolf can't reach, that's why he went so deep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rush to surf. You probably just make the rush, right? You probably just make the rush. Because he could have just put this guy here and then, or here, and then done the dodge and filled it in, but he did. He did leave him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rush, surfable. Any non-Europeans left in the 16? That's a good question. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> Depends whether you call Russia European, I guess. I mean, the fact that you've asked makes me think you're classing Russian as European when it isn't. <laughs> uh, we've got Russian versus, well, I mean, they're not representing the countries, so you can't really say it's Russia versus Sweden. Oh my God, he fails the rush. He greeds it and he skulls. Does he use his last reroll on this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Will Diomed's greed be the end of him? Does he just reroll this? Because like it's really good to jam everything down, right? Get downfield against. He hasn't got downfield. It's turn six. He's 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 stalled at the halfway line. Does he have to get forward? What a thrilling reroll decision. He does reroll it. He does get the push. And he does get the serve. There we go. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. But this is now very dodgy, right? Diamond can just have to make a roll and fail it. He can just dub skull something and just not score, and then he can lose 1 0. So this is very, very, very dicey and dangerous for Diamond now. That was brutal using two re rolls there. You almost have to. I mean, it's where it, you knew it was a risk when you make the blitz, right? You're probably gonna have to use a reroll on the rush. There's a decent chance of using a reroll between the rush and the hits, but to use two was very unlucky. Do, do you plus one assist foul the uh, blitzer here? Maybe not, right? Because um, you are gonna get hit by heat, whatever happens. So. <laughs> Yes, Dimmy, yeah, yeah. 
Well, what I mean is everything's super risky, right? Everything's super risky. Even things that are really safe, like a two dice block with block, suddenly becomes as risky as an elf dodge, doesn't it? That was a successful Devo Gambit, yeah. Yeah, I found the Blitz, it was an interesting choice, it was maybe correct. Play it down there. Oh, it's not like that anymore, Noel's Dive. It's not like that anymore. Now it's a D3. Now it's a D3, and you've got two reserves, so... That's a very good point, Dimmy, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah. on tabletop he could do anything. There's all sorts of tricks he could do on tabletop, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Tabletop he could first action blitz, and then take a 10 minute turn, and then make a second blitz. That's a classic. That's a classic for you. Move your ball carrier forward. Um six squares and then go oh no I won't move there but only moving back five <laughs> things like this classic classic tabletop tactics So this is pretty, I mean, this is obviously pretty tough for Jonesy here. If he gets, even if he gets two players here, then what the other two are like here or something. And then Diamond gets to put his whole team here. That's where he wants to go. So I guess you have to try and stop it with like players here and here or something. I mean that's true punter. Well, it's maybe it's a bit extreme. It's a, maybe it's a bit extreme, but yes, it's why I stopped playing 40k and Warhammer and Blood Bowl. But I'm gonna give Blood Bowl another go. And not think about the exceptions, think about most of the people who are lovely and don't do anything dodgy. <laughs> the hell was that dice? Why are those dice so terrible? <laughs> Why are the- oh my god, those dice are hideous! <laughs> That's insane, they're like, why are they so rubbish and blurry? Yeah, so he's got to just, he's got to be mega safe, right? He's just got to move everything. He's got to work out. He can maybe put the cage, like, triple based. Because he's got sidestep and stand firm and stuff, right? But whatever he does, he's got to think about where the ball's going to go. And then, like, you know, how safe he can be, etc. Like, he doesn't have to move the cage first. Because it's still totally safe now, isn't it? But it's not so easy to score next turn, so he... He does want to get forward. Got to be very careful. Very, very careful.
This is somewhat encouraging for me. Honestly, Jonesy's down eight players. And this isn't super easy for Diamond. But, I mean, it doesn't help that he hasn't got a reroll. Maybe if Diamond still had three rerolls, you know, this would be easy. But going into time bank... Make on dice me. <laughs> okay, so he risks risks the blitz first. Does he just score? He can't score because he can't reliably stop a two turn. He does. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, great news for the second half for Diomed. He will have his wolf for sure. Really bad news for defending this two turn. He doesn't have the wolf or one of the wraiths. Three, four, five, six, seven players. No, they, that's sent off. <laughs> so only six players for Jonesy to get in the KO back. So actually, six players. Fair enough, Diamed. He thought about it. And to be fair, it could have only been one player, right? The Dark Elves with eight players, still pretty good chance of scoring the one turn and the two turn, but with six players, their chances drastic go down. If it was six Wood Elves, they still have a decent shout, right? I, I do think I've made a mistake not going Wood Elves. But six Dark Elves, even with three rerolls, is asking a lot. Yeah, exactly, Helen is. Yeah, and I, you know, even he could just dub score, right? Like, even if it's easy for him, he could still just dub score. What is in red negative cases, yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, I don't think it. I don't think the Dells are appalling. I just. Oh my god. Okay, now he's got a two turn with four elves, but he has got a touchback, so he gets to give it to this guy. I mean, I, I could, yeah, like Dark Elves are still done fine, and you know, like I, I'm still in the round of sixteen and could still win the whole tournament, but. Like, I don't think it was an appalling misplay or anything. I just, the more that I think about it, the more I think the fact they've got, you know, Woodell's got the one turn, isn't it, is, the, is, the, is what I just think it makes it just better than Dark Elves. What the actual fuck? Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? But, you know, he can still roll some dice. He can roll some dice here, Jonesy. a lot of dice. I don't think these are the dice. Be 
because he doesn't have cover for it now, right? I think the dice were you assist this guy, blitz him, and then 3 2 through there. But Diamond's got no re rolls. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush. Maybe that's good enough, eh? I mean, you can't just get instantly hit by the fleshy. So you've kind of got to go there. Or there. Oh, wow, he's going out. Yeah, he could have 1D blitzed the fleshy. He just needed something else with him, right? That was the thing. I, I, I like 2D blitzing this and then dodging everything through. Got three rerolls using, you know. This seems definitely not good enough. Because you just got a card and six dice. Or round the back, even, so. Okay, he doesn't get to hit with wrestle. He does not get to hit with wrestle. Good day, Cocky. Yeah, it's not super unlikely, yeah. Crazy, isn't it, with four L's? Never mind six L's, he's got four L's and he might still do it. That's so crazy, isn't it? Just a complete potato. I mean, he can't hit him in for the second hit. He can't do that. Because he can't get anything around. Basically, has to blitz him from here, right? And push him backwards. Yeah, it sounds like it. So, it depends what team you've got. If you've got a bash team, always turn it. But if you've got like elves, then of course you can uh, play for the early score there and rack up the SPPs and. Yeah, because in the, I wonder if the rush is better, right? I wonder if the rush is better than getting to hit with wrestle. The double rush can't be better. But the problem is that with the rush, then you don't have the the side stepper here. One, two, three, four, five, six. You, you, the side stepper only gets to there. The side stepper can't get to here, which is where you'd want him to be. You could blitz the witch. There's a world in which you just blitz the witch so that you can get more stuff in front of the uh, in front of the blitzer. It's not easy. The thing that's stopping him doing that is he's already he's already put in the uh, he's already put in the zombie, hasn't he? Oh, I guess this guy could run around to there, yeah, and then he can do the rush this way, yeah. Oh my god, is he? No, he can't get the assist in. I was going to say, he's going to rush and make it three dice, but he can't. So it's a rush for a two dice. He should rush at the end, right? This guy probably should have gone at the end. Yeah, he's, he's doing something. Here we go. Makes the rush. Two dice only gets the push. And now... 
It's very good odds, isn't it? 3-3-2, three, three, without thinking about it. I wonder if he had to um, do something else. Take the skull. <laughs> yeah, he could have taken the skull, couldn't he? Nah, it's in the witch hole. Ah, but then it's got it's got um sidestep, hasn't it? Uh, I don't think the follow does anything. Yeah, I don't think there's any, I don't think there's any clever moves here. I think it's just uh, well, dodge blitz, right? He dodge blitzes. The dodge blitz is best. So you could try dodging the witch elf out first. It doesn't seem good though, does it? It doesn't seem good. Oh, I think Dodge 1D was the best. I think Dodge 1D was the best, but... There you go. The terrible dice for Diamond meant that he scored early. And Jonesy made it 1-1. But Diamond is only down two zombies out of these three here. And... Only two linemen, but oh my god, the runner is out, and that's also a, le a run a, a reroll out. So that's three six players for Jonesy, and now Diamond has his wolf. So defending is almost assured now, and he's got three rerolls. Heatstroke always seems to be three. I don't know if anybody's ever seen it be less than three since the last. It, if anyone's seen it be less than three since the last patch, please let me know, because I've only ever seen it be three. <laughs> I wonder if it's a bug. <laughs> it could be. We could just have a three from Sweltering Heat bug. Nah, no, well, that's okay then, Cosmigo. It's a, it's a possibility, isn't it? There was a there was a thing that we had for a while where it was like um, the weather chart was always a D six instead of two D six, right? And like people thought there was too many, there was too much heat, and that's what it was. Like thought that heat occurred too frequently, and it turns out they weren't just you know being stupid. It did. But there's a heat stroke. There isn't. There, there isn't a roll for heat stroke in the dice log, right? There isn't a roll for the heat stroke in the dice log. So. You would like to see it. You would like to see that roll in the dice log. If it happens. <laughs> I've definitely only seen three out that I can remember. But, you know, memory's a curious thing, isn't it? We're getting into the world of, I only see bad dice from my, I see, I see more double ones on fouls than, than other places, right? So. This is, I mean, this is going to be a real hard drive for Jonesy with six elves. So I still don't really see him winning this game. Solid D. I was going to say, this guy has to be here, right? In case of a blitz or a solid D, and he wasn't. Three. 
five players. I mean, he's definitely going to man's as much as he can, yes. He's definitely going to man's as much as he can. But he's got to be very wary of overcommitting, hasn't he? The good thing for Diomed is now that he's got rerolls and he's got the wolf, so... He's very, very, very likely to win this game 2-1. But you never know. It's a lovely spot for the sidestepper, isn't it? And the blodger going in. Whoa. Yep, I like this solid D. So while Diamond had some bad luck to leave him with zero rerolls, the heat and the uh, officious ref has absolutely killed Jonesy here. Ah, fantastic. Thank you, double time. Not a bug confirmed. <laughs> you can never be too careful, though, can you? Yeah, true, it could just happen a bit too much or whatever. Yeah. Unlikely, though. He's handed off. And then is he going to like Daka? It's just a straight D3. And I, but I can only remember seeing threes. Yeah, it could just be with this, with this having the um, the reduced table, isn't it? You know that it could be, you know, the price to nuffle. It could be this price to nuffle makes it a three. It's weird that it's not in the dice log, isn't it? Now he's gonna dacker. He's gonna dacker. Which is pretty tricky with no players. Yeah, it could be one, two, three, 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 Six man decker, not even seven. No, I mean, this is brutally unlucky for Jonesy. Six versus ten. Well, it gives you chances. It gives you chances. I'd probably dacker. The, the problem is, dackering against necros is really hard. So, you're dackering versus the team that it's hardest to dacker against. With six players. He's still alive, it's not over. I, I think Daka gives him the best chance. It kills the clock a little bit, doesn't it? Diamond's only got 10 players. So, you know, he, he and plus he might make a mistake, right? Even Diamond makes mistakes. So, he, he can make a mistake and let you through. And, um, you know, burn some turns and gives you a, some kind of a shot. I don't hate it. Like something could happen. <laughs> Dimmy's favourite analysis, but it's true. You know, things could happen. 
and uh, you could get a chance. You know, just like just some miscalculation, you can do like a one D or an uphill for a gate dodge. Problem is, this zombie couldn't get anywhere else. So I'll see why he did it. You'll do nothing. It's like he could 1D blitz this, right? And Kaz it. And then 3-3-2 three, three, everything. Oh, you could... No, there's a wolf there. Yeah. Okay. It's hard. I mean, it's really hard. You could, you could 1D pow the fleshy and get past the fleshy. Who knows? Like, it's like something can happen, but by like by dackering and stalling, there's a chance. Yeah, I'd probably go back again. Yeah, I'd probably go back again because this doesn't look good enough, does it? You can punch the wolf and punch the wraith, which is all right. Oh, he's got dodge on. It. Manual. Oh, okay. It's that that wasn't setting up a wolf blitz. It was, it was stopping up. It wasn't setting up him blitzing a wolf. It was stopping the wolf blitzing him. I guess he's going to try and break through this turn. He can't even really break through, can he? He can just get there. I think he's so far back. The only way through really is directly forward. Like this is so far around. Frenzy traps himself, two in a one. Gets the wrestle. Guess he can have a sideline cage, can't he? He can ha get a sideline cage. Two dodges and a rush. And he can get a sideline cage. And if this had been a pow, he'd have actually had some cover as well. It was pretty good, pretty good by uh, Jonesy, honestly. So he has to he has to go there with one and then tag the fleshy with another, I guess. Uh no. No, not that. <laughs> I think tagging the fleshy was better. Really like tagging the fleshy. Ah, oh, clever, because he did them one at a time, he popped dodge, so he didn't do the dodge on the rush, he just did the rush to there. Very nice. But yeah, I didn't like tagging this cool, I like I like tagging the, the fleshy. But, um... Yep, how old on, it's definitely Jonesy getting diced more, but Diomed's being diced a little bit after the comedy mega that Jonesy has received. Um... To, for it to be 1-1. One, one. Yeah, tying up the wrestle, yeah. But I guess that's like the easy surf, right? I guess that he was thinking that's the easy surf. But the problem that you're facing is like just having a flesh golem in front of you with Stan Firm, right? Which is, it's pretty hard to deal with. So I definitely 
stop that. Yeah, jo Jonesy's been wrecked by Heat and a vicious ref. Whereas Diamond had appalling block dice and rush on his drive. Oh, it doesn't go in front. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, like, go in there. He's gonna jam him. I would have, I would have gone around the front and jammed in the front. Because now he can just 3 2. I mean, unless he gets something back in front. Interested as to why he didn't go in the front, honestly. Got to re-roll that. Okay, so that makes... Maybe it's because he was thinking he's going to have that in the front. And then that with a the fleshy there is enough, right? Not following the witch. I don't know, does he dodge to there? Does he let him out the back way? Fails the dodge. He's in a bit of a pickle. He's dying mad. Yep, this is the oh, this is the blitz for me. And he can three two him out, and he can dodge him out, and he can dodge him out. And he can dodge him out, and he can have like a bit, pretty much a cage here. Yeah, like there's a bunch of crucial dice, but you know he's got six L's. He's definitely going to have to roll crucial three pluses. Both times a lot worse than a pal. But you've got to take it, haven't you? Makes him. He could jump here, couldn't he? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It doesn't really do anything. Dodge. Triggers, and he's down. And the wolf is tagged but can be freed. The wrestle is also tagged and is already activated. So he can try to free the wrestle here. And the wrestle, the wolf. He can attempt to free the wolf. 
You can also attempt to surf, but it's it's only got two rerolls and a surf's blockless. And this freeing isn't easy at all. Uh, yeah, I know the freeing's actually easy, isn't it? The freeing's pretty easy. You just need to push it. You can do it with pushes. You can free with pushes. I hate that you can't tell if they've used dodge or not. I absolutely hate that. There's literally no way of knowing if they've used dodge. God damn it. I mean, you need to know when you're, when you're choosing when to, where to push them, right? You absolutely need to know. So yeah, so we can clear this with pushes. And then this with frenzy. Yeah. Yeah, by blocking with this guy, and then you, like, you don't follow. Um, okay, so we needed to not... Fo oh, no, no, it doesn't matter, because then you can punch with a fleshy and three, and then push him away. The fact that you got the power makes that better, even. I was going to hit them three times, but I didn't have him twice. So here we go, two into two. Gets the pow. Instant full pow. Oh, worst possible scatter. Worst possible scatter. I mean, I didn't like the way he did it. I preferred hitting it up, honestly. But fouling the witch. You'll do nothing. Yeah, I didn't I didn't actually like blitzing it back. Now again, maybe I'm wrong. But I liked what the the Wraith was here. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? The Wraith could have come there, and then he could have blitzed from here, and he would have had like a screen out. And it basically couldn't have gone into a. He maybe had to rush, and also it gave this bad scatter. I mean, to be fair, I guess it's only like two bad scatters. But... Yeah, I mean, the elves still can't do much about it, don't get me wrong. And I could have been wrong as well, but my instinct was to push it up. But maybe that was wrong. Yeah, time had only a minute left. A minute and a half, Jonesy with two. Well, the DACA gives you the chance of winning, right? The DACA gives you the chance of winning. And it might give you a better chance of drawing. Zombie ball carrier. Oh, but he can still get it. He can, uh, he can witch block it. Two. Oh, he tries to dodge and would have been KO'd, but apples it. All right. Well, now that we've got the zombie ball carrier um, and a surf, it's looking pretty good, isn't it?
Yeah, I would have definitely um I would have definitely just kept him standing there as well, yeah. Oh, well he's got dodge on, on manual so he can stop it. See this is the thing, right? You don't know if he's used dodge. So like you assume that he that he hasn't used dodge like that he has used dodge and push him there. But like you might have wanted to push him here for a foul, right? If you know that he hasn't used dodge. Like if you know that he hasn't used dodge, then you might have wanted to push him there for a gang foul or whatever, right? Like it's just it's so annoying that you don't know if they've used it or not. Mega annoying. It's actually one of the things that I find most annoying <laughs> in Blood Bowl 3. Which is good, I guess, that that's like so minor and yet one of the most annoying things. But Can't do anything. Wow. Oh. Disappointed that the zombie carrier was short-lived. I mean, if he'd failed that hand off, things could have happened. I mean, elves are never out as, as long as they've got like anyone on the pitch and some rerolls. But I mean, they're 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 as close to out as you can be without actually being out. <laughs> <sighs> and plus, I mean, they're not out of the con they're not out of the tournament, right? A, a loss here will, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it does matter. There'll still be a second game whenever happens. Don't say it's over, but you know, Dime is a huge favourite to uh, win the game right now. Really slow game, actually. Really long turns. Really in the time bank, both of them. Loss in game one is really brutal, yeah. But I mean, they're just not out, right? That's the thing. Yeah, it's really bad. And you're almost out. But, you know, it's better than you just being out, isn't it? If it was a single elimination. Four hundred euros on the line. Wrecked by heat. Fantastic. Yeah, Nose Dive, so do I. I think it's an incredible format. I've known about it for ten months as well. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't, I couldn't tell anybody, <laughs> but I thought it was a great format when I, when I heard it. Well, I mean, I didn't know it was going to be, but he had the idea, Vidduk had the idea, and he said, I had this idea, and me and Dave were like, yeah, that sounds good, but we didn't know he was going to do that now. Where does the pot come from? Plants, yeah. I mean, none of us work at Nacon or Cyanide, so can't answer that. <laughs> Does nothing. Defenseless witch to blitz looks good though, doesn't it? He's not blitzing the witch.
<laughs> Starmer got it from the sausage fund. <laughs> Very safe, isn't he? Safe, strong and stable is Diamed. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna nearly go into his time bank this turn. Really be as safe as possible. Think about all the angles and stuff. That's why I think it's really hard for Jonesy. Basically impossible to get back into this. But who knows? <laughs> Yeah, try, you can get five players in front of the ball here, right? So I guess you just get five players in front of the ball and hope for the best. Screen your witch here. Problem is nothing's gonna happen, right? Diamond's got the guard cage corners, he's not gonna mess that up. You're not realistically gonna stop him, but you've gotta try, right? So you, it's hard, it's really hard. You've gotta try something. But. Just instantly snake into a removal. Instantly snake into your own removal. Of course it is. Of course it is. I don't particularly like this. Honestly, I don't particularly like this surf. I would have rather... Um, put this zombie like here, so you still got the cage. And then blitzed with the wraith, and uh, and then moved the cage down. But I mean, this is still really safe, isn't it? It's still really safe, so you might as well get the surf, and then it's a guaranteed removal, isn't it? Now oh, there's four elves. Probably got to put him there, right, in case you dub skull. Probably, yeah. Probably this ghoul should have gone where the zombie went, right? And then the zombie could have been here. Before I make that block. I mean, he could have, he could have quad skull then, right? And then there would have been an uphill for a pal <laughs> which we could have made a 1D on the ball but yeah, yeah you can't really mess up it yeah yeah he's got four players left Jonesy shame isn't it shame really it's a shame for Jonesy you're playing against Diamed for 400 euros and sweltering heat completely kills you Yes, it turns out wrestle on this one would have been way better than attack on this one. Because <laughs> he goes in the back with this with this witch anyway, right? 
because then if you've got a push then another push you'd have a 1D or maybe even a 2D this cancelled the assist and it's still an up here so this one needed to not cancel this up assist Uh, two rerolls is enough with Dallas. He went with three because he went with two plus leader, but then his leader got taken out by the heat. But yeah, two is enough. I mean, three is better, obviously, but you just can't get everything you want. Yeah, the witch elf player was to push him into the front, which he got. And if he hadn't, if he hadn't dodged this elf, he could have then. Um, punched him you know with this guy could have run out and he could have 2d'd him the necro can't even one in 36 now realistically no no the timer bug no I nearly said the Wraith revels himself, and <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this is a bad choice, not, not, not having any protection on it. Full power. You can three dice with this guy, can't you? Yeah, it's really weird, right? Because they're good at hitting, and then you've made it n like because they've got frenzy, and then you, by not giving it a skill, you've made it not able to hit. Three L's left. You're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> Not even hard, is it? Two, five, uphill, double pow. Ball scatters to him, he catches it. Three, two, passes it up here. Easiest draw of his life here for Jonesy. <laughs> I think maybe the big ones are ones that happened this half and little ones the one. No, that's not. They both got KO'd this half. It would make sense if K little ones were ones that hadn't recovered and big ones that had happened this half, but they both happened this half. So I've got no idea why. Um, so yeah, there you go. A brutal dicing for Jonesy. Um, really tough draw. This matchup is a hard matchup. Diamond's great at Blood Bowl. And uh, yeah, it was just it was just the heat, wasn't it? The heat absolutely annihilated Jonesy um, and made it really not much of a game for him. He tried his best, tried to deck with six players for a chance, but yeah, basically impossible to win that one or even draw. Um, and now the next game is going to be really hard for him. He's going to have to try to get a win versus Diamond. The draw will not be good enough for him in the second game. It will be good enough for Diamond. So huge advantage, Diamond. And uh, there you go. Congrats to him for the moment. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.